There is just something beautiful about this car, Austin. You ready? Yeah, right. I'm ready. It's, been, ready. A it's been a minute. It's been a minute. No boy. Oh, and that's cow. heavy on the brakes. That, is, uh, <laughs> that right there is a Audi A8L with near 600 horsepower. Right, and it's awesome. I love a freaking sleeper car. There's something absolutely amazing about a sleeper car. But anyways, guys, in this video, what we are doing is we are discussing something that's pretty big for us, something that's pretty awesome, and we need your help. Like, we've gotten to this point that we're ready to buy another car. That's not really anything new. Uh, but we're planning on buying a car with the money we've made from YouTube and kind of supporting a build around the car, right? And the one car that Austin and I agree on and we're really thinking about is a Viper. A Viper has always been both of our dream cars for quite a long time. Just the raw sheerness of them, the V10. I love everything about the Dodge Viper. And I think you it's do like, as well. It's a car that you have to own, I feel like, if you're an auto enthusiast. Like, I would die in a Viper, right? So like, I have a coworker that wants to be mauled by a bear and that's how he wants to go out. I feel it would be a completely satisfying life if I died by a Viper. But Austin, hang on a second. Look, look out the window right here. Is this maybe a better option? That definitely could be a good option. Uh, is that for sale here? Is that what you're here? Uh, maybe, the, maybe we're onto something. Like, like and subscribe the video right now. If that's the car we should buy, a like 120,000 mile Ford GT. Yeah, that is, I believe that is one of the highest mile Ford GTs in the world. It's an 06 GT. And yeah, I, I don't know. It's been here for quite a while though, but that that's actually not why we're here. No, okay, so I like the sleeper. I, I have the 17 foot long sedan, this luxury sedan that can get down and boogie, but it still lacks a little bit of the rowdiness. And I think we should get out and talk about this right here. All right, Austin, this isn't a new concept by any means. Let's, let's uh, get that straight, right? It's not. Pe people have been Whipple supercharging F-150s for a very long time, yeah. and that's what we're talking about here. We wouldn't just buy a regular cab XL F-150 and not do something crazy to it. Yeah. So this truck is potentially available for us to purchase. Yep. It is a two-wheel drive 2024 uh, F-150 XL. So that there's some cool stuff there that we're gonna talk about. Yes. But then there's also the next generation, the sixth generation, three liter Whipple. And there's projections that this could then produce 750-ish horsepower. Yep, so I ordered this truck three months ago with possible thoughts on us uh, having this on our show floor here at Apple Valley Ford. So the goal was when I ordered this for us to have a show floor unit for this new supercharger package that we are now offering to customers. Now all of a sudden as it comes in here, uh, our YouTube income has gone up quite a bit. We've got all types of new followers and subscribers. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. But we're thinking, would it be cooler for us to purchase something like our dream car, like a Viper or have a truck that can literally beat supercars for under 50 grand. Right, yeah, it, it sounds like an awesome idea. In there, my mind just keeps going, right? Yeah. Obviously, there's the whole sport co truck concept of lower this thing, slam it, get it on some wheels. Uh, we're gonna talk about the 2024 in just a second, because that in itself just makes it appealing. But like, I have this crazy idea of like finding a Raptor suspension, yep. putting it on this, so lifting the two-wheel drive truck with like 700 plus horsepower, like dune, sand dune machine, like pre-runner type Baja stuff. Like, I think it would be pretty co darn cool. It would be really cool. And it, we should also mention that this supercharged 5.0 is going to have a warranty on it. Either. Right. So we're going to have a over 700 horsepower rear wheel drive truck that can beat Huracans when we slam it. And then it can be a pre-runner uh, in the winter. Yeah, let's, just, let's understand what this is, Austin. So like, like, come back here and let's look at this together. This is a this is a six foot long box. So there's actually right next to here, there's a crew cab, right? And, and look at the difference in this. Like, it's like a three foot difference between the two. And when we talk about weight, this thing weighs what, 4,000 pounds? It weighs, yeah, like four, anywhere between four and 4,500, depending on how it's optioned. And there are no options on this. However, that's where it gets really cool, in my opinion. Like a 2023, four Ford F-150 XL, like yeah, cool basic work truck. Very basic. But now you have a truck that is fully updated with its lights and its grill. Yep. 
including the tail lights, which they look killer. They have the whole like black accent going on. Have these cool LED running lights, even. Yeah, oh, it, cool. and the tail lights have like a black hue to them. But but the real fun is okay. Hang on, let me. I'm I'm just excited here. So you got to calm me down for a second. So in, in the bed, you have like the storage things that are standard factory on each side. You have parking sensors you do. and that's the beginning of the tech. So you get inside and standard, you have the cool like 12.3 inch screen. Yep, and camera, not only that, digital dashboard yeah. and blind spot assist lane keep. Right. Like this thing is decked out for 38 grand is right. the sticker on it. Right. So, so it's got a lot of amazing tech at a very low price point. And then Heck, we could do a full interior in this thing we for could. Like two, three grand. We could. We could entirely deck out and have the coolest F-150 around that can literally beat supercars. So get okay. four thousand pounds over seven. So I think I think here's the point here, right? So we're we're obviously gonna do a review on an F-150, and that's important and cool, everything. But I mean, we want your guys' support. If you think this is cool. Like help fuel our passion, or if we should stick to like getting the Viper dream, or like like if there's no one that's interested in this, that's gonna make us not interested in it. Yeah, so absolutely. like help us out, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let us know if you think we're off our rocker, if this whole uh, Whipple supercharged F-150 craze is past, like the whole sleeper concept, or if we're just getting started. Yeah, let us know, but I think this thing would be a riot, being able to floor it at 60 miles an hour and break the back end free on a, on a single cab pickup truck. Like, like we just reviewed and compared a Raptor to a Raptor R, right? Yeah, the Raptor R is 2,000 pounds more than this, and it would have less power, and the Raptor R broke 37s loose, and it scared me behind the wheel it right. was so quick. So this thing would be an absolute handful, and it looks like just the most boring truck. Love it. Also, what do you guys think of these new Ford badges? They're like totally flat now, and it has like this deep blue hue to them. And with the white on the exterior, I don't know, they pop quite a bit. What do you guys think? Not to mention, think of all the cool like Roush grills and stuff that aren't on the market yet, or the cowl hoods that aren't here yet. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this quick video here, walking around this F-150 XL that we ordered. And let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Should we Whipple supercharge and purchase this thing with your guys' support? We look forward to hearing what you guys have to say down in the comments below.